the honorable member for Shiwangando. Uh, thank you so much, Madam Speaker. And indeed, I would like to also press it on record that uh, it was uh, interesting to host uh, His Excellency the President from the Republic of Burundi this morning. And I will make very brief comments. One of them is basically to acknowledge his update regarding the stability of Burundi as a nation now. And he assured us that now Burundi is a reconciled nation and the doctrine of separation of powers is in place. He talked about how the legislature, the executive, and indeed, the judiciary have now established the, these institutions as a way of governing the people of Burundi. Madam Speaker, Burundi has been a troubled nation for some time. And here in Zambia, we host some of our brothers and sisters who were displaced from that nation, running away from the instability that uh, uh, took center stage of that nation. And so to hear that update from the president was indeed refreshing. Madam Speaker, yes, when gestures are being extended to you, it's important to appreciate and acknowledge. And yes, the president did mention that they were extending some gifts in form of some beans that, that uh, will go to immediate the challenges of food insecurity that we have ended up in. However, Madam Speaker, we must um, be clear as a people, because where I come from, Madam Speaker, I, I, of course I heard my colleague using terms that he was not interpreting. We have been taught that in Salah, Nindi Minwa, Tempulilwa Iyo. So meaning you cannot depend on handouts to survive and to sustain yourself. It's good to receive. What is even interesting, Madam Speaker, is the other gesture we received, of course, from the other nation next to Burundi. The other day, and we saw our owner, the Vice President, our mother, receiving that, I don't know if it was 1,000 metric tons of mess. But at the same time, we had the ambassador announcing that they are very happy that we have given them 10,000 hectares of land. So you start doubting such kind of gifts, whether the gifts are coming from bottom of the heart or they are coming with conditions and expecting something in return. Our owner is there, our mother is there. And I think she was also shocked to hear that pronouncement because she wasn't aware. She was receiving a gift, and the person who was giving the gift says, we are also happy to receive 10,000 hectares of land. So you start wondering, so gifts that are well meant, genuine, we appreciate. But certainly we are not going to sit back and start giving away our land where we should produce the same food that is giving, that's being given to us. As, uh, as, 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 as gestures, we can feed, we have always fed ourselves here over the years. I don't think we should consign ourselves to beggars. That will not be the desirable thing to do as a nation. Some of the situations we have ended up with are self induced. Oh, the Honorable Member. Madam Your Speaker, time thank is you. Up. Thank you. The Honorable Member for Luena. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to also add a few words 